Hasner has released recently a new Intel VPS servers that are more cheap and offers more CPU and memory for a lower price. So in this video, we are going to see exactly how the new servers are comporting in a benchmark. We'll compare them against an AMD and an IRM server with the similar number of CPUs and the similar number of of RAM memory. So this is Hesner. This is the provider that I am using to host all, all my projects. And uh, in the last days, uh, I have received a notification that they have released a uh, shared uh, CPU with uh, Intel that has really good prices. So this is their website. And in here you see, for instance, that these are the new offers with the Intel CPU. So right now you can uh, get an uh, four CPU with eight gigabytes of RAM with only eight euros. In the past, this was like uh, about 15 euros. So this is uh, about half of the previous price. Also, these are the locations where you can get these Intel servers. So you can get them in uh, Europe right now. And uh, if you check the shared AMD ones, you see that the price is bigger. So in here for the same for a CPU with eight gigabytes of RAM, you have more disk space. Basically, it's doubled. You have this option in uh, also in USA. You will need to pay 16 euros. So this is like uh, double the price that you will pay for an Intel one. And if you are going to check the ARM once you see that uh, for some uh, for CPU 8 gigabytes of RAM with 80 gigabytes of uh, disk storage, the locations are still in Europe. You'll pay about seven euros. So this is the price that it's similar with the one with uh, Intel. So I have created already some servers in here that we're going to use and uh, do some benchmark test and see exactly how this it are doing. So I've already run this benchmark and created a server. So in here, for instance, you see that I've already run this benchmark. I have three servers in here where I have uh, run the YAPS benchmark. So basically this benchmark, it's, it's testing the disk speed, the network speed and the CPU. And uh, we're going to check exactly how this benchmark uh, compares against different options that uh, you find it Hasner. So in here, this is the new Intel one. You see that it has the Intel Xeon processor, scalable, and in here you see that it has four CPU, of course, with uh, 2100 megahertz and uh, RAM it's about eight gigabytes, this space about 80, and it is using Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, the latest one, to benchmark this, it's on Hesner. So in here for the first results, you will see that the disk speeds and uh, how it's compared for different block sizes and uh, reads and the writes. In here you have the performance for the network performance, basically they are in similar data center, so we're not going to go into details and in the last part you have the CPU that uh, we're going to, to check. So if you check in here, we're just going to check the total. So in here you have for the 4K 384 megabytes and uh, for 64 4 gigabytes and the uh, IOPS are like 62,000. Again in here for the block size that it's bigger, you see that you have like uh, six and seven and for the cpu you have like single core it's uh, 1174 and for the multi multi core it's 3470 so these are good results if you think of the price that you are paying for for this and right now we are going to move to an amd one when we are going to check also the same things you see in here that you have the AMD with Epic, you have the four cores, the clock speed is a little higher, it's about 300 plus megahertz. You have the same RAM, you have more disk space in here, same Ubuntu, it's in here and in here you will see that for instance, you have the read and write speeds which are lower than what you are seeing in the Intel one. So I guess the new Intel processor are offering a better uh, read and write speed. So you see in here that for instance, in here you have like 40,000 IOPS and uh, in here you have 4,000 for bigger block size. So 
if you compare with this one, you see that the differences are quite big, so you have a better disk read and write for the Intel ones. And when you go down to the CPU part, you see in here that for a single core, it's uh, having like 1463 and the multi-core it's uh, 5684 and this is uh, bigger than what we are seeing in the Intel ones. I guess this is because of the clock speed and uh, different cache level that this uh, CPU have. But you need to think that the price it's half for, for this. So the results are, uh, yeah are in favor of the AMD one if you if you compare the, the two but you need to pay more for the AMD one basically it's double the one that it's with Intel and right now I've also installed an ARM one basically I've moved all of my resources to an ARM CPU basically this is the Neoverse S1 and uh, it has the 2 gigahertz clock speed and in here you see that you have about the same RAM and disk as for the Intel one and the price is similar with the Intel one. And in here if you are going to check the disk reads and write you'll see that this has the lower disk reads, it has lower even than the AMD one. So this has like a, a poor, poorer performance if you compare it with the other tools, the better disk read and write. It it is on the Intel one and if you're going to check the CPU speed you with the same uh, Geekbench test you'll see that for the single core you have the almost 1000 and for the multi-core it's 3000 so this is the lowest one that uh, you you find. The ARM one it's just offering uh, the same price level at the one that it has with Intel so if you want to be on the old architecture and uh, have more uh, CPU speed and more write speed, I guess the Intel ones are for you. And uh, if you want something that is powerful, AMD ones are doing a better job. Basically, I'm using Hesner to host all of my applications and I am quite happy with the things that Hesner has to, to offer.